beautiful, wonderful people. I'm so excited and I am happy I'm filming this video. You don't know how excited I am. Normally, when, whenever I'm talking with people, I normally speak about a particular book, what I learned from it and everything. And that book is God's General. Yeah, that book normally talks about people that you know people of the old like not people of the old as in people from the bible but um people in our times and that you know we could see we could relate with that actually worked with god and today today we are going to be talking about no other person than Ketrin Kuhlman I'm just going to tell you a little part from her story, something that I would love to use to relate with you guys. And that's starting right now. So let's head right. You're watching Kabe Obugo. So, Kedrin Kuman started preaching at the age of 16. She preached for many years and built a ministry. In her young days, she married a man that is called uh, Mr. Walsh. He divorced his wife to marry Ketrin Coleman. The marriage only lasted three weeks because what? She knew that she had failed God. She brought her ministry to zero loss. She nearly lost everything. Then one day in Los Angeles, California, she was walking in the afternoon around four o'clock or so. Then in a street, she saw a sign called Dead Air. She knew from there that she had messed up. She knew that she had failed, that she knew that she married that man out of God's will. And because he had to divorce his wife to get married to her. Over that love, over that relationship, over that marriage, that was what made her to lose her ministry. She stood on that street, broken, not knowing what else to do. Then she said to God, Father, I am sorry. I'm sorry. And then the Lord told her, I have forgiven you. There and then, Kejin Kuman repented. Then God said to her that in my books, it never happened. She, she turned around her eh, and never spoke about that incident in, at, at all in her life. She never spoke about her past at all in her life. Then she said to preach. Then a lady now walked up to her and said, How can you preach? You're a divorced woman. Miss Kuhlman said to her, No, you don't understand. That Katrin that you're talking about has died a long time. You have, normally we've heard Ketrin Kuman say that I died a long time ago. And people have been asking, what, what does she mean by that, dying a long time ago? It was because of this story. It was because of this story that Ketrin Kuman always says, she died a long time ago. Some of us are feeling condemned. Some of us feel as if we, we, we don't have any other thing to do because of maybe the sin we have committed maybe the way that we have disobeyed god we have gone against his commandments in our life i'm here to tell you today that you 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 don't you don't have to stress yourself about it just come to god just just give him your all just surrender tell him lord i am sorry just as Ketrin Kuman said and god said i have forgiven you and there and then she repented of her sins God is ready to forgive you if you're ready to come to him. If you're ready to give your all to him, he's always ready to forgive you. So don't let the devil make, make a caricature of you. No, God is ready to forgive you. He's ready to forgive you. So what do you just do? Just come to God. Surrender your all to him. Thank you. I hope this video has blessed your life. If it has blessed your life, please leave a comment below. And one other thing, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time in this channel. And if you have been coming and coming and going and going and you've not subscribed, sorry, what are you waiting for? Should I sing for you? <laughs> if you notice my voice is gone, I would have sung for you right now. But please leave a like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.